ISRO's human space flight, such exciting times. But before we start with today's video, I want to make a plea to all of our viewers and our readers. Videos like this are possible because of support from viewers like yourself. I would please request you to subscribe to The Print if you haven't already. We don't have content behind a paywall, but we do have subscriber exclusives and the chance to interact with reporters from The Print, both junior and senior. If you do find our content informative and helpful, please do also help us out with voluntary subscriptions. There will also be a button for subscriptions below this video. Thank you for your support. ISRO is bracing for its next test of the Gaganyaan mission, India's human spaceflight mission. On October 21st, depending on when you see this video, ISRO would have either conducted or will be just about to conduct a crew escape system test. As the test's name indicates, it is the test to show that the module in which the crew will be can separate from the rest of the spacecraft and the rocket in case of an emergency and keep the humans safe inside. This is one step closer, but there is a long way to go before humans can start flying to space on ISRO rockets. So how close are we to this, to sending the first four men, male Indian Air Force officers, to space? The test on Saturday will use the newly developed test vehicle or a rocket just for this mission, which is a demonstration vehicle that was built specifically to test the subsystems inside and the crew escape system. The test will check for deceleration systems, parachute deployment, another parachute deployment, and how safe the crew module will be after separation. Here is the test vehicle. The crew escape system, CES, is sitting atop the test vehicle, which will launch the crew module. What will happen in the test is the launch, after which the crew escape system will separate from the launch vehicle. While this launch vehicle or the rocket stage or the booster will fall into the ocean, the crew escape system will climb up for a bit more and then the crew module would separate from it. This is where the crux of the test lies. Once the crew module separates, it will reorient itself to face upwards. Then a pair of drogue parachutes will be deployed, which will slow down the rapidly falling module and decelerate it, after which the larger main parachutes will deploy, slowing down the falling crew module to very low speeds before it splashes down into the ocean. The entire test will take just over 8 minutes and will happen between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. local time on Saturday. Where does this fall in the timeline of the Gaganyan project? Well, about halfway through. ISRO has performed several tests on both the rocket that will carry the mission, the LVM-3, and the mission spacecraft itself. It has already tested the engines and boosters that will be used. It has previously performed static tests of the crew escape system of all its motors to see if everything is firing well. It has also tested the propulsion of the crew module and its atmospheric re-entry, and it has tested the drogue and main parachutes that will be deployed after separation. Meanwhile, the selected crew members and backup crew members are undergoing training in Bangalore at the astronaut training facility after finishing preliminary training in Russia. They're learning all about flight systems, microgravity, flying in space, medical procedures, academic courses, flight suits and simulators, and undergoing physical fitness training as well. Other tests will soon follow. Once all these systems and subsystems have been tested without any human beings present inside, there will be full flights but still uncrewed without humans. And after these successful test flights, the first humans will be launched into space from India and they will orbit the Earth for four days to a week before splashing down into the Indian Ocean in their crew module. 